мне дурно. Ed, Sam again. I'm in position.
Roger that, Ed. Sam out. this. decided to crash my party. Yeah, these parts are dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Here's your suit, Ed. Thanks. I'd better put it on right now. Hold on to this. I'll be quick. How did it go? Still put it on in regulation time. So, are you ready to enter the lair of the beast? Always ready. How do we get there? We can take the boat right to the spot. The access tunnel is half floated. We'll have to open a few gates though. So we'll need to split up at the entrance. Here's the bunker plan. I marked everything I know on it. At the spot, we load the rods on the boat and make our best speed out. We'll take a shortcut, the sea tunnel. Got it. We expect any hostiles? Just the zap spiders. What was that? Huge freaking spiders. They accumulate electric charge and hit you with it. They can also switch off lamps, stop motors. But if you chase them away, everything comes back online. Killing them is hard, but in Spasibo. Just what the world needs. More kinds of huge freaking spiders. Got it, Ed. So, I start the generators, we load the fuel and leave. Good luck. Great job, sir. Now, proceed to the generator room. We need the main power back on if we're going any further. Roger that.
fuck. Should have brought torches. I'm in the generator room. Okay. Now find the master switch. Roger. They'll get over it. Anyway, how did these electric abominations come to be? I guess this place is just cursed. <laughs> so with so much radiation and anomalies around, it's not surprising. Yeah, that's true.
I could use that. I'm on it. I'm all right, Ed. The lift is not, though. As long as you're okay, we're fine. Find the ventilation entrance and go up the vents to get here. Acknowledged. Pizza.
I thought it'd be easier. Me too. Spiders are a bit too much, really. I hate those fuckers. I don't think even their mamas like them. Still, we pulled it off. We're almost out of the tunnel, too. So, congratulations, I guess. Thank you. This rubber is stuffy as hell. You're right about that. What now, Ed? I guess it's time to call Tom. Yes. Tom, Sam here. We have the fuel rods and are heading for the dock. Oh, great news. We'll prepare for the loading operation. What's your ETA? About an hour. About an hour. Good. We'll be waiting for you then. Tom out. We're all set. All right. It's full steam ahead. For the record, I do understand why people would follow Tom. I really do. Of course, his talk of restoring the civilization is bullshit, but I can't even say I hate him, honestly. Klim with his atrocities, on the other hand. Still, Klim's not in charge. Tom is. And be he the savior and Buddha in one person, I still could never agree with him. Before we arrive, I'd like to ask you to hear me out. You're a good guy. Honest, nice. You were nice the moment we met. I remember you put your gun down. So I'll be frank with you. I can't let Tom have the soap. I just can't. I already told you how much of a risk it is. So I won't repeat myself, you know it all. I should have taken her out to sea and scuttled her there long ago. But uh, I just couldn't. It would be like murdering my immortal soul. She bears no blame. She served us and kept us alive all these years. But now I have no choice. There is a charge in one of the rods. The guys put it in there in case we got caught. This is the detonator. I will be searched, but you... You are Tom's best pal, his negotiator. So, just press the button when I give you the signal. Don't worry, it won't go nuclear. But no bastard will ever be able to use my ship for anything after that thing goes off. I understand that you'll be losing your ticket home that way. But I think I know you well enough, son. And it seems that you're not ready to pay Tom's price. Still, if I am wrong, just toss the thing and be done with it. All I'm asking is, give it a thought, okay? I have nobody else to rely on, son. Thank you for your trust, Ed. I won't let you down. Sam, I hope you make the right decision.
Mr. Capitan. Please allow me, sir. Not so fast. First, your iron. And the pockets out, too. What the hell's going on here? Stop it! Mmm, I see you have new people. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, comrade captain. I'm so glad so to see I, you. So am I, son. I'm very sorry. But you can't keep the weapons. I'll have to search you, too. It's all right. I understand. you get married yet <laughs> not yet comrade captain no time for that too busy here you're doing well Vitya. i always knew you'd go far we gotta search this one too Is it bad? Hello there yourself, Tom. Not long enough, I think. <laughs> really? Well, then again, maybe you're right. Another year out there, fresh air and all that, could have convinced you to agree to command this sub under my flag. Ha! <laughs> fresh air? It always felt stuffy out there, you know. Could it be a heart problem? With your age, you know. Uh, no. It's just that you were around all the time. <laughs> I'll feel better too, sailing the high seas away from you. What's that noise out there? forgetting our differences until we solve this problem. A truce? A truce. Great. Then she's in your hands. Can you take her to sea? Not until the dock gate is open. The control room is definitely in Clem's hands now, so we're stuck. How many men do we have? Barely enough to hold them at bay. And even that, only until we run out of ammo. There's dozens of them. Tom, I have a plan. You keep him distracted while I sneak out and open that gate. All alone? With the numbers they have, our only chance is not getting noticed. Well, you're right. But we'll have to mount a diversion to make sure you do sneak out. Can we do that? 
Yes, boss. Let's do this before it gets even worse. Sam, we'll keep them busy, but still, be careful out there. Sam, wait for our signal. Roger that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks. Thanks.